If you're about to get your very first electric car, these are the five things that I think you need to do before your car arrives. And if you already own an electric car, let me know in the comments if I've missed something that you think that people need to know before the car arrives to make sure their journey to electric is as smooth and as cheap as possible. Now my advice will change slightly depending on whether this is your first car for company use, as in a, not a personal vehicle, or if it's a personal vehicle, even if it's salary sacrifice, the, the advice will be pretty much the same for you. And it's also mainly gonna be concentrating on people who can charge at home, but there will be some advice later in the video for people who can't charge at home. Now, first of all, if you are one of the lucky people who can charge at home, you're going to need to get an EV charger. And this video isn't gonna go into the EV charger reviews, I've already done them at evnick.com forward slash charge. I've reviewed pretty much every charger. I'll give you some advice on what to look for in a charger in a minute. But before you get an EV charger, you're gonna make sure that you've got an isolator fitted at your home consumer unit. So basically where the power comes in from your meter, after your meter, you should have an isolator. If you don't have an isolator, some installers won't install you an EV charger because they have no means of isolating the supply to fit a separate consumer box closer towards where your meter tails come in. Now, this is the case. It can take several weeks for them to get an isolator fitted, and in some places actually do charge for an isolator to get fitted. I've got a tip, by the way, in a second on how to get one of those for free. Also, if you are getting an EV charger and you are, uh, you know, you've got an isolator ready, you make sure that the charger you're getting is actually able to do what you need it to do. Well, one of the most important things is, can it log the charging rates? Especially if you're gonna be charging for company use and billing the company back, you need to know the charge sessions and how much they come in for. So a system that has different logging data that's easily to extract is really important. There's also other things to consider with, can it get the cheapest electricity rates? Because some chargers can get access to special deals from different energy companies to offer even cheaper electricity. We can come back to that one in a minute as well. My next tip is make sure you get a smart meter installed. If you haven't got a smart meter installed, you're going to need one for the next tip we're going to come up with in a minute. But getting a smart meter helps with my last piece of advice. Because if you haven't got a smart meter, you can get them to install an isolator at the same time as a smart meter and they won't charge you for the isolator all the smart meter install. So if you haven't got an isolator and you haven't got a smart meter, this is my best hack for getting a free isolator fitted. So get that one done as soon as possible because you're going to need a smart meter. Trust me. Now, if you've already got a smart meter, you're gonna become best friends with this chap here. Optimus Energy offer one of the cheapest energy deals around for EV customers and EV chargers. Now, some EV chargers, at the time of recording this video, the OMI, Wallbox, and My Energy EV chargers can access the super cheap Octopus Go Intelligent deal, which gives a fixed six hours every night, plus additional bonus hours. It is by far one of the cheapest EV deals available. Go to evnick.com forward slash energy, and if you're not an Octopus customer, there's a code there, you sign up, and you split a hundred pound with me, which means you start off not only going on one of the cheapest energy deals, but with a little bit of a bonus credit to get you rolling into your first EV charge. The world of EV charging has changed massively since I came into it nine years ago. Back then you had to have every single company's app. They didn't always work. It was a nightmare. Now you can just go over with a debit card, tap it on the machine and it will work. There's also legislation coming in that all charges over seven kilowatts will now have to have a debit card transaction or credit card transaction so you can start the charge directly on the charger. Great news for anyone buying an EV in the future now, that's brilliant. But it might not actually be the best to just tap your debit card on these machines. Now, the device will change depending if you're a company or a personal owner, but let me just tell you what would happen if you're a personal person having a credit card, having a debit card and tapping in. If you were tapping it on several machines throughout a day, doing a long journey, doing lots of tapping on rapid charge because you needed lots of charge to get somewhere, the pre-authorization fee on those taps could soon secure almost all of your balance, which means that you might not be able to book a hotel later on, you might not be able to have enough, another charge because your credit card 
might be maxed out or your balance might be maxed out just on pre-authorization fees until the card machine and the rapid charger tell the card company how much electricity you actually used rather than reserving a silly figure because some of them reserve £99 even though they're not going to take that much off you. So what you can do instead is if you're getting a company car ensure that your company give you a card a bit like a fuel card, you can have a charge card that works on rapid chargers so you can use pretty much any rapid charger in the country, tap the card on and it's centrally built to your company. If you've got a company car, that's the solution for you. But if you haven't got a company car and you're a personal driver, then I recommend you get an Octopus Universe card. There's a link down below in the description. I think you get £10 when you sign up using my code. But when you use that code and you sign up, you'll get a card. The little Octopus Universe card can be tapped on pretty much every rapid charger, not every rapid charger, there's a few networks that are in it, but pretty much every rapid charger accepts Octopus Universe now. And if you're already on the previous tips that I mentioned, Octopus Intelligent, you will actually get a further discount over on the chargers. But if you are an Octopus customer, you still get a discount. And if you're not an Octopus customer, you can still get an Octopus Universe card, which can be really useful for managing multiple charge sessions and seeing a detailed bill of where you've been charging. Now, before we get into my final tip, let me first explain to you the world of EVs, because the world of EVs can change you quite radically, even though you didn't think it was going to. You might have had this car forced upon you by work, you might be actually wanting to buy an EV, but your world is going to change regardless of which of those categories you're in, because you're going to understand energy more. Now, when I first got my EV, the community was very small, forums were very small, and those forums are still there, they're full of really helpful guides and people. Suggest you join them if you want that kind of help, but if you don't, that's fine. There's shows all over the country, like everything electric that used to be named fully charged when i went there it was a tiny tiny show now it's a huge massive show free shows in the uk i'll be attending xl london and harrogate i'm usually there nearly every year i've got a panel session on both of those as well so if you are coming along come and say hello to me uh, but mainly your sort of feeling of, of energy is going to change and that's why fully charged got named everything electric because the world of ev driving brings you into everything that's electric. You're going to start learning about heat pumps, you're going to start learning about solar panels and battery storage and that's because when you have an EV to charge at home you'll understand how energy works more and you'll want to cut your bills especially by buying something like solar panels. Now there's a playlist here all about solar panels and I'm doing a playlist here that I've just started about heat pumps.